sentences are flying off the assembly line inside the Jolly Pumpkin. The same for drinks. The guests that come in here are great, and I think that it's just going to go up from here. Shelly Oberstadt, this restaurant's GM, says the president's surprise visit in January helped their sales. The growth around them in the Cass Corridor is helping even more. I think just every day there's something new. There's a new project, there's, you know, a new condo complex or new apartments going up. Her neck of the woods is hardly alone. And we're going to continue to see more of that. As Roderick Miller explains, small businesses are anchoring communities, but big businesses paired with new developments are bringing billions of dollars into the city. Not only is Detroit back, but Detroit is back, and it's back in a, I think, more thoughtful way. It's back in a, a way that's thinking about quality of life, that's thinking about jobs, that's thinking about housing. It's all easier to visualize when you take a look at a map. You want to talk quality of life? How about the entertainment of the Red Wings and the Pistons coming to downtown soon? Business? The Mount Elliott Corridor. You got two new businesses going in there. Or how about housing? Brush Park. And Miller tells me we're at a tipping point. We're going to continue to see um, large investments, not just by kind of the traditional names we've heard, the, the Gilberts, the Illiches and such, but you'll see lots of new investors coming in from around the globe. He tells me those investors call the Detroit Economic Growth Corporation daily. Two years ago, that would have been a pipe dream, but with the queue line set to launch soon. That's going to be really, really important. And a new 20-story building set for construction in downtown on the Monroe Block. There's a reality that Detroit isn't just back financially, but there's a sense of optimism from the ground level. Our company looks for those growth opportunities, and right now Detroit is the, the booming place. You know, that's a perfect example of how things are changing here in Detroit. Jolly Pumpkin has been here two years, and they've already decided to build a second downtown Detroit location. Here's some cold, hard numbers for you. In the past four years, we've had $5 billion invested into the city of Detroit. The four years prior, $4 billion, a $1 billion increase. And Miller tells me we're going to see exponential growth as we move forward. For 7 Action News, I'm Matthew Smith. Thank you, Matthew. You know, one thing to keep an eye on is regional transit. You've got to have regional transit move people around the city. Yeah, it's going to become all the more important as things grow, but of course that whole thing failed in the election, so they're going to have to come up with a, uh, a plan B, I guess. Of course, though, it is a good time to be in the city of Detroit. It's been great. The growth we were just talking about, the growth has just been tremendous over the last six years, certainly over the last 15 years, and it just keep, keeps getting better. Looking forward to it. Yep. Well,